Ever wanted to control your Arduino like a real robot with a joystick, a live camera feed, and even telegram buttons? Today, we're taking a simple Arduino setup and connecting it to Banalytics, a platform that lets you tie together hardware, video, and automation without writing any extra code. Let's start with the hardware. You'll need an Arduino Nano, two micro servos, a breadboard with a 5 volt power supply, and some jumper wires. Pretty standard kit, nothing fancy. Now, let's put it all together. Grab your prototyping board, connect the power supply, and wire in the servos. Connect the first and fourth pins to ground, the blue rail on the board, the second and fifth pins to plus 5 volts, the red rail, and the third and sixth pins to the Arduino's PWM pins D9 and D10. Don't forget to connect the Arduino's ground to the power supply ground using a black wire. Then plug the wires into the Arduino. White goes to D10, gray goes to D9, and black goes to GND. When connecting the servos, make sure the yellow signal wire aligns with the PWM pins. Connect the Arduino to the computer using a USB cable. And plug in a USB webcam. The last step before launching is uploading the firmware to the Arduino. Open the firmware sketch in the Arduino IDE and click Upload. The IDE will compile the code and flash it onto your board. Now let's switch over to the Windows or Linux machine where Banalytics is installed. You'll find a link to the installation and account setup guide in the description below this video. To connect Arduino and control it via joysticks, we need to install a module that supports the Modbus protocol and gamepads. Next, let's add a camera so we can monitor everything in real time. After you add it, open Live View to make sure the video feed is working correctly. And if you want a deeper dive into camera setup, be sure to check out the dedicated camera configuration tutorial. Now let's configure Banalytics so it can talk to the Arduino over Modbus. Start by adding a new Modbus RTU device. Select the port in dropdown. Set the baud rate to 9600. Next, we'll create several actions to change the state of two servos. For one, we'll define the forward and stop actions. For the second, we'll define the rotate by certain angle and center position actions. The servos are ready to go, so let's test them right away. Now, let's connect the joystick. To get it working, configure the 2D vector according to your gamepad's axis indices, along with the Modbus digital channels you want to control. Then, open the Event Manager and create a rule that broadcasts joystick events into that 2D vector. Make sure to activate the rule. Everything is ready. Let's test it out. Create a dashboard. Drag the camera onto it. Make the camera window active and begin moving the joystick along the configured axis. In the demo, you'll see the servos rotate as you move the sticks and pressing a button instantly switches the lamp. It's an easy way to confirm that all your connections are working exactly as they should. 